what's clear about the World Economic Forum this year in Davos, Switzerland, is that India has a really large presence. Joining us, somebody who has been over here for what, 32 years? Yes. 32 WEFs. Yes. Mr. Ajit Gulabchand, wonderful to have you speaking to us. 32 years back, what India was in terms of our presence in Davos, and now, mm. how has it changed? Well, you know, uh, first, let me first thank Rahul Bajaj for bringing me here uh, for the first time. Right. And this is the first Davos without him here. Right. So I, I want to first sure. remember him. Second is, when I came here for the first time, that was a period in which this Davos became a window to the world. Mm. What's happening in the mm. rest of the world was not adequately covered or rightly covered in right. India. So it gave you an idea of what's happening. Right. Uh, don't forget, it's a very special body of government, business, academics, and civil society. It's the powerful decision makers of the world who get here. Right. So after that came a period when we started seeing that India opened up. Right. Now, and then introducing India to the world again and the world to India right. became the task of the Indians who came here. Right, right. And Klaus Schwab took this on very seriously. Right. And that did work. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, India is part of the total world economy. And right. It's just like any other country, which right. is good enough, is now here. Right. And, and ne negotiates and trades and discusses sure. with the world. So these are the three phases in the last 32 years of Transor. This year, the presence is there of Indians. But India is not in, in the conversation no. at the moment. Substantial conversation no. is on because of Ukraine yeah. is one. Second is that, don't forget, on the financial crisis, then an then a environmental crisis of climate change, then came the pandemic, and immediately after that, Ukraine. Yeah. Not only it's about the war, but about the huge supply chain disruption sure. it's causing. So if you see, all these three have been so much more for the world to handle. Sure. And I think this is what the basic discussion here is. Yeah. The how are we going to move? Because supply chains are disturbed. So many things have gone wrong. What is the way we should do so? Will globalization go backtrack? Sure. Or will it still be there right. in another kind of form? But let me ask you this, uh, um, 32 years back, yeah people wouldn't have been speaking about clean energy and green energy and sustainable corporate growth yeah. in quite the manner in which they are now. Yeah, but it, there was one lady, Brundtland. Right, of course, of Norway, yeah, right? Of Norway, yes. who was the big environmentalist city. Yeah. Yeah, and so she, that's now become an agenda. I mean, that, that's that core is now, to Davos. That is that, now that, that, is is all we, that is all we talk now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that have is, you embraced it in your own, co in your own company? Uh, yeah, yes, we yeah. have, we have. You know, as far as we are concerned, we've been there. I've also been on the Terry uh, yeah. board yeah. in terms of do, doing this. We in HCC have tried to do, see as a construction service provider, yeah. there are many limitations sure. because materials is done by somebody else, somebody else, yeah. the client wants something. Yeah. Right. So those specs have to be laid down by them. Right. But nevertheless, right. in providing the service, we came across two important things mm -hmm. we can do to reduce the carbon footprint. One was use of fly ash in right. making concrete. Right. Now it's become universal, but when we sure. began this, so we were able to reduce the cement requirement mm -hmm. and thereby reduce the carbon emissions. Right, right. Second was we created the concept of water neutral. Yeah. Because we use a lot of water when you do construction. Mm. So we decided that while we do this construction, we will also build in water harvesting system so that this water will be restored. Mm -hmm. So every project we build now is a water neutral project. Right. May not be immediately as the project closed, but within two or three years. Right, right. So this adds also in, indirectly to climate change issues mm -hmm. and therefore reduces the carbon footprint. Sure. Well, water is, a, sure. is not just a public good, not just a commercial good, it's also an environmental sure. good. Sure. A final question, lots of uh, states participating this time. Uh, you know, and so many state pavilions, it's like half of uh, the main road over here is India, you know. There's more Indian food than Swiss cuisine, which is a problem for me, but uh, <laughs> while being here in Davos. But it reflects how, you know, there's a real effort by Indian states. See, when in the very early days, we used to see uh, British Columbia, the states, yes, provinces in, in America, yeah, provinces yeah. in, in yeah. Canada, yeah. 
Australia will yeah. come here. Yeah. And India took some time, as it has now it got more with integrated. Chief with chief ministers, with just not, with not chief bureaucrats. Yeah, the yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, and uh, this, is, this is a big new change, which is a very good change. Right. And I'm glad that many states are coming and not just the central government. Sure. Lovely. Because it, it helps to spread. Because the states is where you're going to get the big changes. Sure. Lovely speaking to you, sir. Thank you so much. And have another great WAF meet this year. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you.